Yeah, there you go. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming to join the party. We're doing political readings here with the amazing, I am so honored to have Susan Lynn on my channel. Thank you for coming, Susan. She does Thank you for having me. Uh, political, psychic readings, and all kinds of other stuff. What have you been up to? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, Do this. what have I been up to? I don't even know what I've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm meeting myself coming and going these days, I think. Uh, 24 <laughs> has started out to be a busy year for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, 23 was amazing. 2023 was amazing for me. So I'm just expecting even more amazingness in 24. That's all I can say. Awesome. Look at, hello, everybody. I'm seeing so many hellos. Jana, Marina, Jackie. I could never say Jill. Mary, Sandra, Michelle, Janie, Jana. Hello. Thank you for coming, everybody. Oh, wow. Tanya, Monica. So, so many people. I can't tell. I don't, I don't care. I'm just happy you all are here and let's get to, let's. Uh, yeah, we're uh, ready to get reading because we were already yeah, take talking it away, Susan. And we were like, oh, we've got to wait and tell them this stuff because there's really a lot going on. I mean, I know uh -huh. you guys know there's a lot going on, but there's stuff going on kind of behind the stuff that we're, that we know about, right? Right. Like one of the things you were talking about was Melania is already husband hunting. Uh, she's not going to be terribly uh, distraught when he uh, does whatever he does. And I do want to talk. I know you guys are sick and tired of Trump, but I'm telling you guys, it's in our best interest. It's in our best interest to see this through, to see him incapacitated or to see him, whatever it is that incapacitates him, whether it's a crossing over or whatever it is. So Sybil, you were just telling me that you saw some things about, about that syphilis, alleged syphilis thing. What, what were you talking about? Yeah, that was uh, amazing. When you saw that, I was like, uh, cause I was seeing a couple different, the way my guides show it to me is he's not going to be president. He may be the nominee, but then he's not going to be the nominee. And I was like, what is, I, that's like, it's like confusing. I'm like, okay, what are you saying? And then they showed me him. And this was months ago. I saw him like an emergency on a gurney. He's on the gurney and people are pushing that. And we don't wish anything. These are my my um, thoughts and impressions, my psychic impressions, my guides give me, I don't make them up. I don't, I can't make that happen or not happen. So I'm not wishing ill on somebody. I'm just saying what the guides are showing me. And it was him. And I heard someone say, um, like I saw like a drip line, like they do in the hospital. They put, they, they rush you in and and I heard you say on your show uh, yesterday, it was a great reading you did, a little 35-minute reading you did on, on Trump Thank and you. syphilis. And I was like, oh, my God, she's got it. She's right. And I saw this, uh, you said, like a possible stroke. And that's what it looked like to me. And then you said, this. we interrupt this program. Well, the programs I watch, I do put the news on because I. that's how I stay up. I see... I watch people talk or I listen to what they're saying. And then I can, my guides will tell me about what they're talking about. Um, so anyway, but it would be like breaking news, you know, like CNN or whatever the breaking news and they put the music on, you know, but yeah, so it looks like that. I don't know a timeline. And then I saw him in a wheelchair at the documents case like wheeled in he was really not there in his head he couldn't walk and he was clutching this briefcase of documents they're they're mine they're mine and they weren't real documents the secret service just gave him something to hold on to so he would calm down and <laughs> and he couldn't really speak very well and Aww. then um so and then uh, I think it was Linda G was saying she saw him dead. I feel like these are all correct and they're all the possible, like you, you come to an intersection and one of the roads is not to presidency again. It's like these different, it's like all those options over there are gone. The option is like death, illness, 
uh, you know, in a wheelchair, in a, in a, a convalescent place or somewhere tucked away mm -hmm. in a little wheelchair. So mm -hmm. to me, it's not maybe uh, clear what my guides are showing me which one, but those are all the, the definite possibilities of where I'm seeing where he's going. And um, I just thought when you said that, I just put everything together. I was like, oh my God, that's, that's it. My question mm -hmm. to you is, do you think this is going to come out public? Are we going to find out years from now? Or is it going to be out in the news? The syphilis? Or are they just going to, oh, uh, he's, you know, kind of keep it private out of, you know, respect for, you know, because it's, he, he's a candidate. But, I mean, we should yeah. know. But I mean, he's a past president. I mean, but, mm -hmm. you know, the guides right now are just saying, again, to me, tertiary syphilis, which... Um, a lot of nurses kind of educated me in the comments of that video. And apparently you can get treated for it. And then it kind of, it, it's just like, it doesn't go away. It's it's there, it's under the surface and it's still uh, affecting your body. What about your, your mind? So what I think is going to happen is I think that we're, what the guides are showing me is we're all going to come to the same conclusion. When I say all, I mean like say 80%. You know, the media, um, uh, they're going to have, look, you're going to know that he's decompensated, that that his mental functions are greatly degraded. That is good. Like you saw, he's in the wheelchair. He, you know, he's not able to really talk, I don't think. That could be from the stroke. So it could be that they blame everything on the stroke. But the underlying reason for the stroke is tertiary syphilis, allegedly, in my opinion. Uh, so I, I don't know if, if we're going to have the satisfaction, if that's what it is, of just knowing of, of it being like in the books until 15 years later. You know, they talk about all the kings. This is like a king disease, right? That they get this disease and then they nut out later. This is really something that happens. So I think later, yeah, we're going to be able to talk about it. But I think initially it'll probably get bl blamed on some sort of stroke. Okay. Wow. So people are saying, I, I wonder if Melania has it. Mm. I don't know. I don't think so because she's so much more proactive. You know, if I'm not sure if there's nurses in the chat, let me know, but I know you can get treated for it. You know, like if you get it, I, I understand that I guess you can have antibiotics and it's pretty easy to treat. I think maybe he just let it go on too long. Um, I don't really know about the, I know it's very contagious, but I don't know at what stages it's contagious. Um, hey, Kevin. Oh, there's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Um, so it's, it's a fascinating thing. Um, if you weren't an American, <laughs> it might be fascinating to watch this, but as an American, it's actually a little excruciating. Uh, but I feel like this is all going to go down. I mean, my deadline is, I, I think the guide said bottom line by October, but I really think that this, that he could have this first that you saw on the gurney. I think that could happen. That feels any sooner. time between now and May. Yeah, yeah. I even feel like some um, possibility, but I don't see it happening. But I feel like somebody wanted to, of somebody undercover, like if they could sneak in the room and give a little something oh, yeah. in the. The IV, and then oh, yeah. wasn't that unfortunate? Yeah. You just didn't make yeah. it. No, but I, I don't I feel like that. I feel like somebody wants to do that. I saw that. Yeah, I don't see I it. I don't. I, I. I mean, it's a possibility, but mm, probably pretty too closely watched. Somebody have to really be that. What a conspiracy that would be. Uh, uh, de <laughs> definitely, and and that the the people that are helping him or backing him, they want chaos. So if yeah. they were to do that, they would want to leave clues behind so it would create that conspiracy because that's what they want is the chaos, right? So um, that's why I think in the end, the feds, the DOJ is going to end up protecting him because we don't want chaos. We just 
we just want everything to be calm, right? And so if we can protect him, even, you know, even if he's out of his mind, you know, and like you said, he's sitting in the corner in a wheelchair, but he's surrounded by protection so that that kind of thing can't happen. That would potentially cause some major problems for our country. Yeah. And then it, eventually he'll die. Well, everyone, there's Kevin <laughs> healing medium again. Great to see you. Okay. Uh, so eventually, I mean, everyone does die, but I just feel like um, uh, that's what I heard. Your husband's dead. And I saw Melania and then she was like, hmm, my bags are packed. Can you zip them up? I mean, it's not like, you know, no. No. nothing like that. She no. does not care. You know, that's such a good point. Cause remember in that vision that I had yesterday when they were all in the hospital room practicing his signature to forge the will, which right. somebody said, apparently they did the same thing to his own dad. And I didn't know that they, oh. they did the same thing to Trump's own dad. But anyway, in that oh visual, I didn't see Melania. She wasn't there. So you're right. She's just like, yeah. She's oh, I can here. catch that flight to Milan if I leave in the next 20 minutes, you know? Uh -huh. um, yeah. Do you think it, uh, Barron has a chance at any political future? I don't think so. I don't think he wants to after all this mess. He's very damaged. He's really very damaged. I mean, not in a bad way. I mean, in a, in a kid that grew up with a crazy psychopathic parent, um, I don't think so. I think he's had a, a face full of publicity. And I think that he really, I see him and Melania going back to Eastern. Yeah. Europe. That looks like, yeah, she's um, out of here. She's done. Yeah, she's it. out of here. She's going to take him. She's not going to, yeah. I mean, he's not that old. I mean, he's seven foot tall, but he's not that old anyway. Uh -huh. um, Joanne wants to know, Trump had a bandage tucked under his hairline and shirt collar, apparently on his neck. Um, I didn't see that. I believe it because I think he's got, um, they just, the guides will not stop saying tertiary syphilis. Tertiary syphilis is like the last stage where it starts to affect your organs. It's like. The but does end. it affect the brain? Yes. I think it does. I dementia, and dementia, right. But also your organs. So Yeah. He's 18. Baron is 18 on March 20th. So he'll be of age, but I, I don't see her letting him go. I, I feel like she keeps him sort of nearby, to be honest with you. I think yeah, he'll probably go idea. to college, but I think she would rather he go to college in Europe, but I think he wants to go here. Do you get a sense for that? Does he want to stay in the United States for college? Yeah, it feels like he'd rather, but he'll go with his mom. Yeah, he, he, he's a... He's very dutiful, actually. He's very dutiful. Yeah. He's not a kid that just goes against whatever anybody wants. He's pretty dutiful kind of guy. Yeah. And I don't see any of the other the Trump children making a political career. Well, you know, they said uh, Don Jr. wants to run in 28, but I don't see that because between now, now and 28, he's going to lose all his money. He's going to... Um, He's going to barely get away with his freedom and shirt on his back and maybe an account somewhere. I've always seen the boys, and I don't know that I mean this like super tight, but I see them in like Turkmenistan. <laughs> you know, I see them in one of the stand countries where they can kind of recreate their, I mean, you could restart your life there with hardly any money. And, and the image that you are somebody where yeah, they would be somebody in Turkmenistan. I mean, or one of the stand countries, you know, I don't even know. It just he feels like he just doesn't have like something about him is not all there. He's kind of insecure. I think he's on drugs. I think Don, he just Don he Jr. doesn't have that presence, that type of no hypnotic uh guru spell thing that Trump does that's no. really weird. That's but true. He does it. And it's really creepy. It feels like he's like people who've had dysfunctional fathers or something they kind of can relate to a controlling man who's abusive. That, but but John Don Jr. doesn't have that. He's not a yeah. fatherly person that like steps in and I'm gonna take charge of this. Right. He's more like <laughs> yeah. it's weird. No. 
And and he needs to operate somewhere where there's no laws. You know what I mean? He needs yeah, to go yeah. to a country where it's the Wild West and it's all about who you pay pay to play because that's what yeah. he knows. Okay. Do that's if he to- can get away. That's if he can if he can get there. I think he can, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Should we answer some questions? Yeah, let's go. Pick out a question. Any question. Okay. <laughs> Um, the Capone died from syphilis. Wow. So it can kill you. Maybe they have more treatments now. Yeah. Rob, Rob said stage three means the syph germs are feeding on the brain cells, which is very painful. I got to tell you guys, I, I have compassion for this guy. I know he's a real, a real SOB. I know that, but as a human to a human, it's like, Somebody should just put him out of his misery. It's terrible to watch somebody go through this. Um, but I guess this is what he signed up for, right? This this is, he signed on the dotted line and he continues to make his life horrible and all of our lives horrible. So I guess that's, this is what he gets. Yeah, but yeah. But look what he did. He He's like, it took the most corrupt person on the planet ever to expose everybody else's corruption. Yeah. And the, the Republican party is being destroyed from the inside yeah. out. Yeah. And it was about time, I guess. So uh, do, yeah. do you know how to make a moderator, Sybil? Do you know how to do that? You have no. to go into YouTube. Want okay. to do that? I don't think. How I do I make a moderator? Because, uh, Mary Louise was just saying she can be a moderator if you want one, but okay. if you, you'll have to open up the YouTube, um, like tab because you can't do it from here. And if you see her name, you can click on the three dots and then add her as a moderator. I don't know if you need I moderators, the dots, but I don't see where it says moderator next to her name. Show. Huh. Yeah. I clicked uh, hide. No, I don't want to hide her. <laughs> no, you can't do it from Streamyard. You have to actually go into a separate tab. Oh, um, it's okay. You can do it later. I don't, I don't okay. think we have, let's, we're having any, let's look at uh, any trolls. I don't usually, I have a okay. big dog. Okay. You have a big dog. <laughs> yeah. Over 150 pounds. Okay. No, well, at least hundred pounds. I, mean, I don't know about it. Okay. So this is Kelly H. I think Roger Stone has it too. Oh uh-huh. my God. Wow. Okay. Um, please comment on the timing of, Putin's departure. So oh, you can I click don't... on that and it'll pop on the screen. If you want to click on any of the, um, oh. any of any, like you did with Mary Louise, if you just click on their comment, it it'll pop can, on the screen. I can make her the moderator here. Wait, is that? No. Yeah. You're dealing with, you got to remember who you're dealing with here. I am. Uh... <laughs> We're not, I'm not talking about the moderator. I'm just saying, click on the comment and the comment will go on the screen. Okay. So, um, from our phone. Okay. All right. Will we have a government shutdown? There you go. There you go. Oh, who did that? You did. Okay. (laughs) Will we have Sandra in Connecticut? Hi, Sandra. Will we have a government shutdown? If yes, will it affect social security? First of all, do you think we're going to have a government shutdown? Do you think, I mean, didn't they just pass or no, did it not go through? They, I think they just pushed something down the road. There are two different. Oh, they gave us a month. That's right. They gave yeah, us 30 days. Dates. It got kind of split up because he can't really do something to go against the Magas, Mike yeah. Johnson is trying to be everything to everybody. So he's like yeah. broke it up and then kind of passed something for a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's not going to affect social security. John's right. It doesn't affect social security. Doesn't it, it? I think it affects the checks. Like if your checks are late, I think it could delay the check, which for some people is a big deal, honestly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, so we, I, we have a, It's been passed, but do you feel like we're going to get a final resolution where it's going to be set up for a whole year now? Or do you think Uh we're going to continue to have these temporary? 
we, I, I feel like this year is going to be like, put your safety belts on and yeah. oxygen mask drop. Remember to breathe. That's the oxygen mask. Yeah. So whatever can happen that's more nuts and more crazy than last year will yeah. happen. So I agree. probably, I feel like there, there probably will be some sort of a shutdown. I just don't know when, but then it'll just, um, they're going to, I see Hakeem Jeffries, like, you know, at the circus where the tiger breaks through that paper drum or something like that. So I see Hakeem Jeffries coming to the rescue. He breaks through and he comes out and he's on the stage. Somehow oh, wow. he's going to be, I don't know if it's from the uh, elections, but I it probably before I feel like he gets in there. And so all this games is, um, yeah, they'll probably do some kind of, you know, as Trump gets more desperate uh, or thinks he's winning more by unusual, amazing mounts. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a yes on a shutdown. You, you too. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, I, what I'm seeing is they're going to continue to do these temporary. Okay. Which is going to just be kind of like excruciating to have mm -hmm. to do this every 30 days, you know, get up to the edge and then uh -huh. bandaid it for another 30 days. I don't, I'm not sure. I think we have at least one more temporary extension, which okay. could end up being, it could end up really being a, a small Shut down. I, I don't see a long one, but I see like um, less than 24 hours. But it just is going to show the American people how broken the system is and how broken the Republicans are. And, and I'm afraid the American people are going to blame the Democrats, too, because people that don't pay attention to politics, they just think, you know, Congress is just not working. Congress is just broke. So they're going to blame both sides. And that's going to be kind of the, the onus is going to be on Biden and the Democrats to really get out there and beat the streets and say, this is what's happening. We showed up. We were ready to have border security. We were ready to have this bill. We were ready to do the work of the American people. And the Republicans didn't show up. So I think it's going to be kind of like a broken record for a little bit. And I agree with you about Hakeem Jeffries. I love the idea of him like breaking through, you know, the, the you know, that kind of paper, like they do at football games and they run oh, through, okay. you know, um, I love that. I do think that is going to happen. But do you think that there's going to be one more Republican speaker after Mike Johnson or what do you see for that? Do you see Mike Johnson staying? Yeah, I just heard the most speaker? likely one more. <laughs> I think one more. I think most we're going to, I mean, you know, Maybe it's just like you said, buckle up. Feels more like a woman. It feels like a woman. I think Stephanie like, is trying yes, to yes. Uh, make yeah. a name for herself. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, it, you know, so if you think about it, the the pattern here with um republican leaders of the house if you look back at paul ryan and ba boehner or what it was yeah and and then uh, kevin mccarthy you know so they, they just kind of they go through these guys it's getting faster and faster and they just get end up getting trashed and uh like yeah like whoever gets involved with trump ends up oh, i was looking at this person they had this whole thing of this whole wall of lawyers that have been either screwed over, had their careers ruined, or ended up having to get a lawyer because of being involved with Trump. And so Mike is talking, everyone knows, talking to Trump and trying to follow. I feel like he's trying to follow his lead, but not also destroy his name. But I don't know how much longer he can hold out. I don't either. Because he because he made the deal with the Democrats and the Democrats stepped up to make the deal happen. So that automatically make Mike Johnson look like a traitor to the Freedom Caucus. So I see the same thing you see. I see Mike Johnson's out. I see some kind of woman in, um, which is interesting because just being a woman changes the energy of the Republican energy. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying it's different. Um 
and then and then I think Jeffries is going to break through. I think that's what you're seeing. He's he literally breaks through something to help us. And I I feel like you guys that to me is more like July. Okay. I don't know, but this timing is insane right now. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the questions? Boehner cried a lot. That's true. I forgot oh, about Boehner. I, you know, listen, right. Didn't we think like GW Bush was the worst thing that ever happened to us. And I mm. remember thinking like Tip O'Neill and Boehner, they were the worst, you know, these people were just like Boehner used to make me just want to jump out of my skin. And it's so much worse now. Yeah. You know, well, Boehner I gets on the news and sounds fairly reasonable sometimes, you know, when he's talking about Trump, it's like, Oh my God. Yeah. I remember that. Now I was listening to uh, Nikki Haley and I thought, well, she sounds kind of not crazy. And I was seeing, she's not dark foreign money. She's obviously the Koch brothers are invested in her. She's she is not American dark, dark money. She's American dark money. <laughs> what? American dark money. But she's not foreign. Okay. So at least yeah. okay, so it's, it's not Trump. It's better. And then I, I mean, was, you know, this, this is thing. where we are. Did I, did I tell you about Giuliani? No, tell us about Giuliani. Cause it's, oh. I don't know why that's given me the, yeah. Oh my God. Look what Christine just said. What? She said, uh, Stefanik, Stefanik. I can't say is her name. Snake? She's a snake. Yeah. And that's yeah, what I want to talk about. Snake. That's what we're going to talk about okay. next. Christine. Now this might Snakes. sound weird. I know this is politics. It's not about shamans and, and I'm, I'm trained with, I've been in different parts of the world and I've trained with shamans and I see that energy around people and you'd be surprised there's things stranger in life. So I'm not trying to get, tell people to believe in this or that, but, um, I just saw, I looked at Juliana. I asked my guys like, what do you want me to talk about in the show? And they showed me Juliana with a big snake. I'm like, what? Was it eating him? <laughs> what? Was it eating him? Uh, oh, it wrapped it around him. So they will, this, now this isn't the, like the Native American type snake, which means power or Kundalini energy or something. This is not feeling good. It's like a big python. It was kind of wrapped around oh, him and it was ready to reach out and grab somebody. And so I remember those videos you were talking about how people get compromised on and then like they they send you somewhere and then they they like what's your what's your best fantasy you want for entertainment purposes only and then they give that to them well in the in the shaman in the snake world in the energy world when you have something like that these cause confusion and they cause people to do things that they probably wouldn't normally do unless you have a really good foundation in some kind of spirituality and all that and this dark foreign money these countries are very open to psychics and all kind of weird stuff yes. in China or wherever in Russia. They know these things. They're in that, you know, uh, stuff that we would might find like, well, how is that possible? But so they get somebody to do something and they get you to do something you maybe wouldn't normally do. And then you're caught. And that's what reminded me when I was listening to you do that readings about the compromise. I'm like, oh, so it looks like. Now, because Giuliani used to be kind of sort of okay. He was America's mayor and he was, you know, American. And like, what happened to him? So I feel like he got this energy around him. And I've always seen lower energies around some of these world leaders. I don't, some of them are so bad, I can't even look at them. But around 45, it just makes my skin crawl. I'm like, ew. There's weird sex stuff. There's weird, all kind of, you know, paying people off and all this stuff. And so what, I feel like, you know, Biden's going to win anyway. The Democrats are going to win anyway. But I also feel like we need to pray for the world or understand that things are happening on an energy level. Because you can have weird stuff and psychics in other countries. But if you're really grounded, whether you're, you know, we need to like get the Baptist church people out in the South or whatever. If you're really grounded or connected to something that or or you're doing your, you know, your, you know, visualizing or energy healing, whatever, it can really help us to get a even better victory and get all these people out of there and this foreign money and this weird stuff that's like happening. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why I was seeing the snake. And it reminded me about when you talked about 
the compromise and people doing things like that they wouldn't maybe normally do. But if you, if you affect them in ways where get them where they're vulnerable. Mm. Right. And then, you know, and then we ha look at what a mess we have. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. Yeah. And the constrictor, right? He's being squeezed. Okay. Yeah. Being I also squeezed. feel like, he's, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's being squeezed. Well, actually it's really sad. His life is a wreck. Yeah. Yes, it he, really is. He's, he's got more cases coming up. He's just, he'll be penniless for the rest of his life and or in prison. So, I mean, think about no inheritance. I mean, think about, he had really something to give his family or to, you know, and he's not going to have anything. He's going to die penniless and his family's going to be penniless. So and it's, it's really like sad. He's gonna make a deal. He's going to try to, I see, he's going to try to give some information. He's going to yeah, try right. to some, some evidence. He's going to try yeah. to do something. But That's it's, right. like, it's, it's, I don't know. He, he may not realize it's really too late for him. It's too late. It's really I, they don't need what he's got. They, uh, Jack Smith has got so much more than Rudy Giuliani. And I think, I'm just not sure what's going to be left of Rudy Giuliani after, you know, the women, the voting, um, the registrars from Georgia, from their case. I just don't think there's going to be anything left for him, for Jack Smith to even take from him. Um, there's a good question. This is, um, Texas is really in the news lately, not for the best things. Um, Rose Blue wanted to know, will Biden temporarily federalize the Texas National Guard and take away Abbott's authority? So what's happening in Texas is, you know, we're on the border with Mexico and there's a river called the Rio Grande that separates Texas and Mexico. And there's literally a city park in uh, El Paso. I don't know where it is. Anyway, there's a city park that abuts the river that abuts Mexico. And the feds, you know, the border patrol was there, but Texas has blocked the border patrol from patrolling the river. And Texas is instead using their own military to patrol the river and two children and a woman drowned in front of the Texas border patrol. And uh, Texas is saying, we don't care. Uh, it's our border, which is not true. Borders are international. They're not, that. that is definitely under the purview of the feds. What do you see with that? How do you see, I, I feel like they're trying to take it to the Supreme Court. Again, here uh, for the thousandth time, literally the thousandth time, we never thought these things, their customs, their traditions, we thought they were laws. And now we're finding out they're not laws and we need to go to the Supreme Court to decide what is the real thing here. What is the real law? Do you see? Are you are you working on something? Oh, yeah, I was just putting on her. Con I don't know if that's the person who. Um... Yeah, that's that's a different question. Same person. Same person. Oh, oh OK. So what is the question? Will Biden six, put six the time? The National Guard has been federalized. Uh, number six was on January 7th, 2021. So, okay. So the thing is, is that if Biden says, this is so interesting. If Biden says the national guard needs to come into Texas, then Biden can overstep Texas. Yeah, he's going to do something. I, I'm but getting why are they going to the Supreme court? The last time I saw it was Texas was saying, we'll take you to the Supreme court. I don't know why Biden just doesn't say, take me to Supreme Court. Meanwhile, I'm going to send my feds down there to take care of this. We really have to establish where the state's rules and laws are and where their power is and where the federal government's power is. Because that's what these Republicans are doing is they're attacking. They're trying to run roughshod over the, the federal laws I, I i feel like biden's going to intervene was that the question will he intervene yeah. yes you will feel like he's going to intervene court? i feel like it, it does go okay good does that answer the question that answers the question yeah oh sharon I sipes like here. Thank you, sharon. really quickly i see that he's talking to his advisors 
And I feel like he's sitting there and he sees, he's going like, yeah, go, go. we're, we're going to do something. And so it's going to happen quick. And then I feel like the Supreme, I pull cards sometimes. So I feel like the Supreme court, um, I get a, a judgment. They're going to, there's going to be a judgment. Oh my God. I got to tell you, I'm going to love that. I'm going to love that. If, if the fed, if the national guard comes down here and tells Texas to stand down, that's going to be the shot that's heard around the country. That's really going to help these states understand Biden is not going to play your silly games. I love yeah. that. Yeah. So he's, he's getting, I, I feel like he's getting, cause he's been all his life a politician trying to be the middle, trying to be, you know, compromise with people. And I feel like he's kind of done with that now and he's not showing weakness. I don't necessarily want to, yeah, and he's he's going to uh, yeah he's not going to play. He's he's done. He's done being Mister Nice Guy. Yep. Okay, I love that. I love that. I really do love that. And I and I saw that a while back, and I didn't understand. It's like you said earlier in the beginning of our broadcast. You you said I don't see a, I don't see Trump on the nomination, but then I. Don't see a nominee. You know what I mean? Like we see it, but we don't understand why we don't see it or why we do see it. I saw the feds coming into an American city, like, like the national guard coming into an American city. And I, I saw this months ago and I couldn't understand why. So mm -hmm. here we go. This starting. Oh, to explain okay. It. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Sherry. Uh, they want to act like their own uh, country. They want to act like independent countries. But at the same time, if, if there's flooding, if there's a national emergency, they want that National Guard. They want that FEMA money, you know? <laughs> Dark Biden rises, people are saying. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Um, are you seeing questions here? Yeah. I mean, Christine says the feds did show up on site to assist, but the National Guard, the Texas National Guard, I'm not sure if it, you need to look into it, Christine, because I could be wrong, but they said Texas military. You remember how Florida, how DeSantis wanted to create his own military, his own separate state military. I'm not sure if this was the Texas National Guard or if this was Texas's military, but you're right. Either way, they wouldn't let the National Guard, they wouldn't let the Border Patrol. They, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't know. What are we going to have like a showdown, like a literal shootout between state military and federal military? I mean, is this where we're going? Because if we allow these people like DeSantis and like Texas governor be bullies, they're going to continue taking the power and then we're going to have a bigger problem on our hands. So dark Brandon needs to get his freaking aviators on and get down here. Yeah. Yeah. So faced. What will the States need? Help? If you click on it, it'll, it'll pop up. All right, but it does jump. Uh, people uh, put comments in and then it jumps and you hit the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it happens quickly. And I feel like he's already talking to people about it and he's not he's not having it. So, yeah, I just I just I don't know how it's going to it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't nobody wants to see a standoff between the federal, you know, our our U.S., you know, National Guard and a Texas state guard. This is. You know. Okay, so let's get another question here. Mimi said, get out of Texas before you're stuck there. Yeah. Girl, trust me, I will be out. I will get out of here. I'll be digging a tunnel. No, it, there's there's too many good Texans here. They're not going to let, um, and, and they're really mad right now. Texans are really mad. So stand back. All right. When will we be re rid of MTG and Jim Jordan? <clears throat> That's a really good question, actually, because I feel like Bobert might go before MTG. Um, what do you get there, dear? 
<clears throat> I don't know when. I do see Marjorie Taylor Greene getting uh, unseated, definitely, being polled. And it looks like she's being more polled out by the, the not by the Republicans. Because I feel like there's this old i'm hearing like really old like 40s music or something i which i love i have nothing against that i'm feeling like they're older crowd or something that watches maybe fox news or something likes her there in georgia but i see her being pulled out of her seat um a by Jordan. a crowd an angry mob <laughs> um a girl can hope anyway Has, uh, I'm wondering if Jim Jordan has been. Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. Investigated. The answer is yes. I heard yes when you said, I wonder if Jim Jordan has been. Yeah, I, I feel like yes. he has a better chance for some reason of going to jail. She just like runs her mouth and says these really stupid things and trying to get clicks or showing dick pics and, you know. Insane. And, 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 yeah, but um, I don't know that they can get her uh, so much on the January 6th? Do you feel like she will be criminally charged? I see Bobert. I, I could be really wrong, you guys, truly. But um, I think Bobert's in up to her neck. I, I, I kind of agree with you. MTG just like is just like, a, you know, she just runs her mouth. Um, but. Yeah, Bobert, I see handcuffs. That's Ooh. my symbol. I don't think she's going to be dragged off the floor in handcuffs, but i that's my symbol for there's a legal problem. And I feel like she's in court going, <laughs> she, Bobert's the kind that will take a swing at the sheriff. You know what I mean? She'll take a swing at the, at the person trying to arrest her. Um, MTG is going to go down. I just don't, think it's gonna it's gonna be different than Bobert. It's it's somehow it's uh and wasn't MTG thrown out of the um Freedom Caucus so she's not in there anymore. Um but I see Jim Jordan being arrested compromised. I don't understand what they mean when they say compromised. Uh he's compromised. I don't know uh what that means exactly. Um it looks like he might be offered a deal like to, you know, like he might, I, I don't know that he's going to go for it. Yeah, right. I was just going to say, but is he going to go? Because that man is just not that smart. No, no. He's just not that smart. No, well, I, none of them are. I don't think he will go for the deal, but I feel like he could be doing time. I do too. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I think it's going to be club fed, you know, like the federal pin. You who's know, they the call orange? It who's because, orange? Who wears yeah. orange? Is that federal or people must know who's orange? Is that federal or? Well, so it turns out that the states all use different colors. Uh, oh. So oh. it could just be that your guides are saying he's going to be locked up. Do you, do you, he also, I, I get, I'm getting this again. And you're, you're a real, you're a, you guys, Sybil's an amazing healer. Um, I'm getting a, uh, Energy in my heart with Jim Jordan. Um, oh, like a heart problem? Yeah. It's very tiny. The heart, <laughs> not the other thing. It Probably like both it, of them. all the air went out, it went. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got like a walnut for a heart, like the Grinch does. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Oh he's God. So I just dressed and whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my oh. God! I wasn't even thinking about the other part. Jesus Christ! Now I got now I got it clear, clear. Right. Okay. Um, I don't think about those people's parts. And Linda G said it too about yanking his chain. I'm like, oh my God! I just don't go down there, y'all. You have to have self preservation. You know, really, you just got to be careful with what you expose yourself yeah, to. She's right. Linda's right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, yeah, I know she's right, but I didn't need to see it. Jeez. Um, okay. So um, I do see Bobart, though. I Yeah, I see her. Uh, and she's had more domestic violence recently. 
with her husband and her son and different things. Oh dear. Oh, three inches ain't no chain. Oh my God. Well, we we know it's a mushroom. We know we know now because of uh what's her name? Uh Stormy Daniels that it's a mushroom. Okay. Okay. Awakening with Susan says, okay, you got one. Hey Cindy P. Uh, will the DOJ let us know who they who had the emergency SOS button disconnected in the Capitol and who the pre-insurrection tours will they name these people this year? Louder milk. Louder milk gave tours. Oh. <laughs> the day before the insurrection. <laughs> is who's louder milk? Is that a is that At a Congress a, or Senate? He's in Congress or Senate. He's oh. an elected official. Yeah, wow. and he's a Trumper, and he's um, working for Trump. Yeah, so he oh, okay. gave, he gave tours. Um, I'm not sure he disconnected the button. Hmm. Um, what are you seeing? Well, uh, uh, first of all, I would just say that I think that Jack Smith is going to go after these people, like Jordan and Bobert and. Uh, Gates and uh, Louder Milk. I mean, just the whole group of them. They, I, I believe they already got target letters. Three of them got target letters in December. I think more are getting target letters now. So mm -hmm. I think don't worry that uh, Jack Smith is going to go after them. Jack Smith is his contract extends until until he's done. You know what I mean? Like I. I feel like he's going to really get to the bottom of a lot of this. Now, as far as like the buttons, I feel like that's, I feel like I can't say, I, I feel like they don't want me to talk about it for some reason. So no, I'm not saying that I even know, I'm just saying they don't even want me to look at it or get into that energy. So I think that must be a developing um, case. And I think that, all of this, like like what you said about louder milk, all of this is going to be in the testimony against those Congress people. All of this, and I'm seeing, and this is something I hadn't seen before, but I'm seeing those uh, senators and reps, whoever they were, that were hiding. You know, I I'm seeing them give testimony. Yeah, I put the mask on. I was in the hallway. I was hiding behind the chairs. You're going to have first account, first hand account from those people. And and that's it's really going 3 years. Okay, how many years have it when did this happen? In 2020 2020? Well, yeah. Yeah. This happened in 2020. So it might be Come on, y'all cannot make me wait three more years. I'm telling you, I can't do three more years to get this justice. I can't do three more years. So they changed it to 36 months. I swear to God, y'all. It might be three years. You you might get a, you know, you might get a, an indictment, right? But it, it might be a trial and then a and then there's appeals or something. I don't know. Oh, it happened in 2021. Okay, 2021. So yeah. three years from there would be 22, 23, 24. Hey, 24. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I did the math. Thank you so much. Oh my God. It's going to be this year. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Statue of limitations. Never mind, Cherry. Apparently it is going to be this year. You y'all see how I do this. I'm like 21, 22, 23. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Lots happening this year. It's 21. Yeah. It's going to be this year, you guys. And that's what the guide said. It's going to blow up all this spring. Uh, these uh, Congress people are going to end senators. There's going to be maybe a Senator or two that's going to get a letter going to get a target letter. They're going to be they're I know, right. They're going to be investigated. And, and then, you know, this is in the middle of a election year. So you can only imagine the kind of hue and cry you're going to hear. And then if Trump is over there in the corner going, you know, you're going to have just a whole lot of people being upset. <laughs> 
What else? What else do you got there, Sybil? <laughs> That's such a great question, Kelly. If 45 dies or is incapacitated before Jack's trial is over, will the public know all the evidence Jack federal government has against him? What do you get there, dear? Um, a lot of, a lot of it, not all of it. I, I feel like some of it is we don't, will we, will the public know all the evidence? I don't, I don't feel like we will. Um, a lot of it. Um, I don't know if they're going to tell what, I mean, what he did with the documents. I saw him giving like right from the beginning he was doing that he was oh um God. i don't know if they either they can or um it's just not yeah i feel like some things jack smith is gonna keep it um because they have to present the best case right they don't want to and they don't want to embarrass the the our america right with how, what are you getting for that? No, I, I totally agree with you. And I totally see where you're going with this. Um, the only thing I would add to that is, is that when I asked this question a while back, what I got was, you know, we are going to kind of get robbed of our justice, right? Because I see Trump being either unable, you know, like mentally unable to stand trial or be being crossed over either right before the first trial or right after or in, we don't get to see trial two, three, four, five, six. There's, there's six, you know, there's many more trials that are coming, but what I think is helpful is that the guides told me as they bring other defendants in Trump's, the evidence that they would have used against Trump is going to be used against them. So in that way, the evidence that they get for Trump is still going to be valid. And, and it's almost going to be like Trump is on trial. So that's going to be, yeah, it will. That's the problem. It will compromise our global alliances. That's, that's what Sybil is trying to say. We have to walk carefully. Oh, okay. They want to know about Ali Alexander, Sammy Davis Jr. Look alike. Uh, um, what was Ali Alexander's role again? What, what did Ali Alexander do? I don't remember. Um, but I mean, we can just look at the energy and see if he flipped, you know, did he flip? Yes or no. It's that I feel like, yes. Oh yeah. But not, there's a yes and a no here. So again, this is what I saw with Rudy. Rudy at first said, I got some stuff for you, Jack Smith. And Jack Smith was, I already got that. I don't need that. So I feel like Ali might have tried to make a deal, but didn't whip out the really good stuff. And so yeah. Jack said, I don't need that. And then he's worried about what Trump's going to say about him. So just because Trump won Iowa or something or whatever, running, leading in the polls, he, he's not going to turn against him anymore. Yeah. So Allie promoted Stop the Steal. Okay. <clears throat> you know what I feel like with Allie? I feel like he's, they're still investigating him. They're still um, letting him do his thing because they're watching him. They're still getting evidence against him. Okay. Thanks everybody for joining us. And if you're new here, Please subscribe to Sybil's channel. Yeah. And hit the thumbs up. And check um, out her website because she's a great healer. She's a great reader. She's an amazing healer. If you guys need any healing. Woo. Okay. And ditto, subscribe to Susan's channel. She is an amazing reader. Um, okay. Um, Trump has been dragging his right leg when walking. I think we read on that yesterday. You read on that. I did, but you know what happened? I saw a video of him from at least maybe many months or a year ago, and he was dragging his leg then. So I don't know that it's new, new. 
I think it is something that he's been covering up or hiding from us, but I think it's another, you know, nail. It's a, it's another level of, of his unfitness, you know, of his illness, of his um, slippery slope. Yeah. Yep. He has a hitch in his giddy up. Yeah. He might need a hip replacement, right? You know? Yeah, absolutely. Roxy, Roxy. That's a cool name. Oh, I wanted to look at this. Um, LS. Thank you for the question. Big picture of the whole big government thing. There's no big government anymore. Owned by corporate citizens. United. Uh, dark. Yeah. I, I saw uh, Biden today talking about this, and he was talking about price gouging. And uh, I'm glad that yeah. he's doing that. And when I look at the corporations, um, they do like the tax credits they got. Uh, a lot of big corporations were allowed to stay open. Um, the stores were allowed when small businesses had to close during COVID. So they made, you know, record profits as soon as we opened up the airlines and the gas went every 30. So they were saying how... Um, if the product because of supply chain issues went up $2, they put it up $3 and they, you yeah. know, they're, and then it's gone down, but they still are up $3 instead of. So I feel like that has a lot to do with Biden. I feel like the corporations and who we, you know, that's funding things. So I, I still feel like he's going to win, but I'm glad that he is addressing that uh, price gouging. What, how do you feel about that? Yeah. I agree with you. He absolutely, because you want to know what happened too is uh, inflation, our jobs are up. Uh, the stock market's up. Everything is up. And because everything is up, that means inflation is going to stay up. But yet he's pointing out, like you just said, Sybil, there's no reason for inflation to pee up. This is, this is a fake. You know, this is created by the greed of these companies. And, um, you know, the guides are just reminding me, I saw just so briefly, they didn't let Spirit, Spirit and another airline, they didn't let them merge. They mm -hmm. turned down their merger. Yeah. And um, that's because Biden is going to start putting the kibosh on these mega mergers because it cuts out competition. So I think Biden is going to start hitting these companies. He's he's I, I see, um, you know, who I just saw was Elizabeth Warren, because, you know, Elizabeth Warren is one of those senators who's just like eagle eyed on these corporations. And so yeah. they may even um, put together some sort of I feel like there's a public private. This is weird because this is what the guides are saying. This will be next year after he wins. He's going to put together a public private group. That's going to look at the greed issue and then and then suggest ways uh, for Congress to deal with it. But it's odd to me that it's public private. And, and I mean, when I say private, I don't mean Jamie Dimon with Chase Bank. I mean, Susan Lynn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Sybil yeah. and Susan are on the, you know, the, the really and truly private as in public citizens. Um and I just want to say briefly, too, that Dame, Jamie Dimon, who owns, who's the president, he doesn't own, he's the president of Chase Bank. He just came out recently and was talking about how good Trump is. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right? Because what you just said, Sybil, they love these tax cuts and they know that Biden is coming for them. Biden is going to yeah. get Congress to pass a billionaire tax. And y'all, we're going to be able to pay a lot of our bills with that money. And these big businesses don't want that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I go to farmer's markets. I put that up there too. I love, that's my favorite grocery store, farmers, local farmer's market. But um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I totally agree with you on that. Um, okay. So also need to stop insider trading. What do you see on that? Well, first of all, we have to maybe change the definition of insider trading because um, 
these senators and reps are getting away with doing a lot of trades, which are ostensibly okay by the law. So we may really need to change the law a little bit and getting Congress to change laws against themselves is not going to be the easiest thing to do. I don't know why the Democrats can't get rid of Menendez. Why is he still in there? You know what I mean? We, we, yeah. we've got to do better about policing yeah. ourselves. Yeah. If we want them to police themselves, we need to police ourselves. Well, people keep saying the Trump years was such good for business. We were doing so good. I'm like, did I miss something? No, no. But I mean, I understand there's inflation stuff. It's expensive. I understand that it's gone down. I understand that. And I understand there was COVID, but he didn't terribly managed COVID. He's the one that did the shutdowns and they're like, oh, the Biden yeah. shutdowns. I'm like, yeah. what? That happened and, under his wash where he was saying, oh, it's nothing. 11 people have it. It'll be gone. You know, so you didn't. By April. Remember, remember by Easter. It's yeah. Like, remember what? when Ebola like came and, and Obama had fixed that in like two weeks or something and it never really got here. But Trump did nothing. And then everyone's saying, but yeah, but the economy was so good. I'm like, did I miss something? No, what you missed was the, PP, the PPP loans that went to some people that needed them, but mostly the, the ones that got forgiven were the people that, that were Republicans. I know this because I know I personally know a Democrat and a Republican. The Republican got hers forgiven for 20000 My Democrat friend is paying it back. It's all, and I know this because the Republican told me you have to go to this bank. I'm like, why can't I go? And I didn't get one, but I, why can't I go to my bank? Because you need to go to my bank. You need to go to this. I'm like, that bank is like 45 minutes away. I'm not going to that bank. That's the bank. So it, the fix was in, you guys. The fix was in. These people got, who was the football player that got, what did he get? Hundreds of thousands of dollars? A football player? Free, free money. Yeah, Trump, it was great for the economy for those people because they got free money. Yeah, there were bread lines, there were food lines. I mean, it was terrible. And then, and they like, oh, we need to bring it back to where it was. I'm like, what? Uh, Tom uh, Brady, was it Tom Brady? Oh my God. And oh, Brett Favre, Brett Favre is another one. God. Yeah. Okay. I used to like Brett Favre. Anyway. Uh, so anyway, look, the bottom line is that, that Biden and the Democrats, you know, Hakeem Jeffries and um, all our great senators are going to clean this stuff up. Um, it's really, they're really going to get cleaned up. We just have to see the ugly before we know what to clean up, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's great. Re See, that's the kind of stuff right you have on the screen right now. Biden is working to reduce $35 bank fees down to $3. This is the kind of thing that affects the average person. The average person who doesn't have $35, you know, $35 can really affect your whether you're buying food or not. Biden knows who he's trying to help. Yeah. Yeah. When will Congress when, stop giving himself raises? When of we, Florida? yeah, when the Democrats get control of the House, and um, yeah, I feel like we're not going to be uh, like people are done. People are sick and tired, and I feel like we're going to start getting stuff done. Really, twenty twenty five, the new energy comes in, and but this this year already, it's starting to come in. It's. Uh, yeah, I think when people are sick and tired and done with it, <laughs> that's yeah, I when. agree with you. I agree uh, with you. Yeah, and he also wiped out student debt. Um, so I still see, um, I think you saw two Supreme Court justices stepping down. Thomas, we keep seeing Thomas. We keep seeing it. We keep seeing it. We got to, look, I almost feel like, this whole situation is forcing Biden to do things he doesn't want to do. You know what I mean? Like send uh, federal troops to the Texas border 
that's something, of course, no president ever wants to do. But I feel like um, the, I, I feel like almost the energy is almost pushing Biden to consider expanding the Supreme Court. It's not that crazy of an idea. We have 11 districts. You know, we have 11 judicial districts. We should have a Supreme Court justice for each of those districts. It, it's not like we're talking sure. about heresy here. We're yeah. talking about stuff that makes sense. But Biden just wants, he doesn't want to be radical. And he sees a lot of these things as being radical. Yeah, well, I think Obama went and had a talk with him. And I feel like Kamala, she wants to push things ahead more. And, and uh, yeah, to, to move forward. And, um, yeah, let's see, I'm so tired. Yeah, I feel like the mainstream media, the mainstream news, they it's some of it's subtle some of it like on fox news they're just out and out <laughs> they're not i'm sorry to say this for entertainment purposes only they're not an american company they have all those flags and all that they're not even americans really That's they're a good point. yeah they're dark money but some of the other like well they want ratings and they try to say could this possibly happen what's going to happen what we, you know or, or they get you to think a certain way and they kind of normalize that, well, oh, Biden's old and the economy. Yeah, yeah, it was better with Trump. I'm like, what? Why? They keep saying that. I'm like, how is that for maybe a big, but the stock market's been doing good. I mean, that yeah, you know. No, look, no it wasn't better. But wasn't they don't better. say that. So I think they should. And then they kind of normalize this insane person out there so people don't get that don't understand that he's crazy <laughs> okay well you know the media is not helping you know and forget fox news but cnn abc cbs you know they're not even npr uh newspapers they're not really in my opinion giving us the neutral you know news right yeah yeah they seem to be against biden Oh, look at this. Linda Bishop says there'll be a class action lawsuit against 45. But oh, will there be? Well, I, I feel like they're like, what happened to that? Why? You know, because he really mishandled it. People died. And then they're all in the news saying, well, they made us wear masks. And... I don't I don't. There's so many in line to get money out of Trump. I mean, I, I think E. Jean Carroll is actually going to bankrupt him even before anybody else gets a hold of him. I mean, and and Tish James. I mean, there's a lot of people in line to get money out of this guy. I don't think there's going to be anything left for the American people to get any kind of payout. Um, I, I kind of see his hotels on the chopping block being sold. What do you see? Do you see his properties being sold, uh, you know, like pennies on the dollar or something? Yeah. I feel like the wind blowing through an empty place. <laughs> Tumbleweeds going through. Like nobody wants to have the crazy COVID syphilis guy. That, and, and then, they, you know, and then they... They, you know, um, the Florida Florida Republican Party, I guess the head of the Republican Party that got um, um, uh, charged with raping a woman. What was his name? His his wife was with Moms for Liberty or something, and he oh, was right. removed from his seat. That's right. But that was the state Republican Party, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the state Republican yeah. Party removed him from his seat for yeah. sexual assault. Yeah. But we're okay when a president does that. He can sexually assault no. a woman. Just no. we can't have the state guy. He's got to go. But no. But Look, Trump the problem, the problem, okay. dear, I just want to talk you down off of this ledge, Ron. It's never going to make sense. Yeah, you okay. know, we're never going to make sense of it. You know, they had a, a, this person interviewed and she said, you need to read the Bible. 
you know, Jesus wasn't a very uh, perfect person. He dated a hooker. You know, <laughs> She really was going full crazy. She was literally saying Trump is a real man. You can't hold him to the. So when we're over here trying to make sense, there's no sense. You're never going to make sense of it. You just don't even try to make sense of it because they'll move the goalpost. You know, they'll mm -hmm. move the. They'll move the the truth, the lines of the truth to suit themselves. That is that is not anything any of us are ever going to um, be able to convince anybody of. We're never going to understand it ourselves. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. And in Texas, Reagan is uh, holy. I mean, he's he's a really a very very holy person in Texas. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for a question. Karmic justice, low cost Trump tower. Sorry, Sharon. Uh, she doesn't really know how to make uh, you guys moderators. So, uh, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll it's figure okay. it out for next time. Next time. She'll, uh, Sharon Shipe is, is Shipe is the moderator of all. She's our mother moderator. I hope oh, you're feeling Karen. Better. Okay. Well, you can explain to me how to do it because I'll, I'll, I'll do a, yeah, I'll do, we'll have an in service. Okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, Pam Shea was, was out at the start. Uh, okay. CNN. <laughs> okay. People are complaining about CNN. I agree. I, I hear you. Um, okay. Question. Elsie Stefanik was. Oh, man. Uh, defa okay, let's look at it. Really? Her. Wow. Holy moly. They just want to double down on stupid, don't they? Wait. Um, I know, because if somebody puts something in, it moves, and then you click, and the wrong one goes on. Okay. There well, you go. Elsie Stefanik was defaming E. Jean Carroll. Wow. Will she get sued? If she really defamed, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, E. Jean Carroll's attorney, Kaplan, is for real. Do not mess with Kaplan. Yes, they, she. I believe uh, Elise will be added to the, will be sued. Do you feel like that? Um, I don't know if E. Jean Carroll wants to go through any more of these. It's so hard for her. Well, that's true. That is true. But I mean, at some point, it's almost like, Spirit has nominated her as our sport spokesperson and she has to kind of stand up for us because it's it's horrible, but well I I'm not seeing that. I'm you're not, not seeing, seeing it. You don't think she'll go after it? I feel like the lawyer wants to, but I kind of feel like um she's tired. Jean Carroll is kind of like the with the the stuff they do to her. And I'm sorry, I that I, I feel really, it's, it's embarrassing. I feel bad for, what's her name? Alina Haba. Oh yeah. I have big lips. Okay. Uh, um, so I look good. I can pretend I'm smart, but at least I look good. I'm like, okay. okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't make fun of people. It's just like, oh my God, it's embarrassing. I, you know, these lawyers that, do this to themselves. Will Stefanik go to jail? Do you see? So you see a case. I don't see her going to jail. No, I, she I it's, it's not a crime. Jail. Yeah, it's not a crime. Look um, at what everything everybody's saying is. That, I mean, but this is. I mean, she probably should be sued by Carol. If, if she's. See, the problem is. This is the problem, you guys. We've allowed. And I, and I mean this truly. We have allowed. People like DeSantis to become a bully and the governor in Texas to become a bully and Trump to become a bully. And now people like poor E. Jean Carroll, because she's been elected, she's the one that has to stand up to these bullies. We, we have to stand up to the bullies. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you don't want to do it. Sorry. We should have been doing it and we weren't doing it. And now these bullies are freaking like King Kong running through our country. We've got to stand up to them. That means all of us have to stand up to them. So we'll see. We'll see. 
I, I think Carol, I agree with, I agree with Sybil because I think she's tired. She didn't even want to sue him the second time. Remember? Yeah. She sued him the first time and she said, I'm not suing him the second time. Now she's suing him the second time. Well, yeah, you, you might be right. I could be wrong. She, you're probably right. And I, I feel like I, I, I wish she would. But I don't know if he's still going to be around. He's going to have any more money left. Well, it's it's Stefanik. It's oh, it's a Stephonic. different person. So, oh, and I agree with you. She's exhausted. I mean, she shouldn't have to be continue be dra drugged through this. Right. She shouldn't. But it seems like the energy they're picking on her. I mean, it's not the energy, right? It's the Republican Party going. She's an older lady. Let's attack her. Let's drag her down. Let's pick on her. You don't see them picking on Fonnie Willis like this. Fonnie Willis is like, come on over here. I'll take, you know, and what's her name? Um, God, what's her name in New York? Um, Tish James. Did you guys see those, that smile Tish James has? She just sits there and smiles at Trump. <laughs> like, I'm enjoying this. I'm like, golly, woman, that woman is for real. <laughs> She's scaring me and I'm not even, I'm not even anybody, you know? But to have to sit there and be in that crap. No, it's horrible. It's horrible. And They're that, specifically and, picking on E. Jean Carroll. What? They're yeah. specifically picking on her because she's just older and exhausted. Now let's talk about DeSantis because I wanted to do a whole video where I have all these video clips of his face. And I don't like making fun of people either, but I'm really starting to wonder if he's human. He, have you guys seen the weird stuff he does? He does this weird stuff. It's like, you know, he has all these exaggerated things he does. And I'm like, is he real? Is this real? Did he get loose? Did he break out? Did he break out of some laboratory? Is that what happened? It's an alligator. No, I like alligators. No, I, don't, I just don't want to mess with one. No, but he has like his arms are too short. Something and I don't like to make fun of people's bodies, but he should be a girl. fairly young, you know, regular. I mean, those people get older and they get different shapes and stuff like that. But it's like his arms aren't really attached and they're too short or something. No. And then he, like he got out of the lab before he was done. What? He got out of the lab before he was done. He has this really mean look in his eyes. And yeah, he doesn't look human. He doesn't know how to connect with people. He doesn't care about people. It's, it's really creepy. I mean, he might, if he's on the spectrum, then I'm sorry. And I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I don't think he's on the narcissist spectrum. I think but I was a photographer for 23 years. I actually kind of specialized photographing people on the spectrum and kids that couldn't even make eye contact, special needs kids. I specialized in that. I'm really good at that. I'm really good at working with people, you know, wherever you are on the spectrum. I'm really good at that. Uh -huh. And there's something wrong with this guy. I don't know that it, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm afraid to ask the spirit guides. Who asked me that question, Beth? I'm kind of afraid to ask. <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, I do feel like he's been military in past life, but I don't know what country that is. Um, and I feel like he might have been poor because his uniform was too small for his body or something. Um like, are there, um, like, some in some uh, communist country, like, I don't know who, like, some, who are the Sandinistas? Or, for entertainment purposes, I don't know who these people are. Ah, uh, yeah, the Sandinistas. Uh, I feel like he was some America. kind of rebel with this little, oh, yeah, gun, like, guerrilla warfare. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. just, um, I, don't, I don't know if it was somebody Ooh, famous or I something. I forgot. Yeah, he was in the military. He was a JAG. He was a military oh. attorney. Oh, he Central was. America. Okay. Yeah. So I see him in a past life as some country. He probably died fighting, but I just feel like, yeah, he's not really connected to his human side. Um, a lot of these people, like I was saying with you know, Rudy Giuliani and the snakes, 
you know, I think, I feel like a lot of these people just have really negative energy around them, either negative aliens or reptile energy or something. And I know that probably sounds crazy, but we just need to get grounded and pray and be, you know, be in our, our good energy and, you know, have compassion for each other. So I feel like he has no like emotions or something. It's weird. Like he's just like a big greedy dog or not a dog. Dog would be a compliment. Oh God, big, that's right. Yeah. What? That's right. He did those. He was at Gitmo. God, I, I, I'm telling you, I think my brain is like, Susan, don't remember. Don't remember. DeSantis was an officer at Gitmo when they were doing some of those uh, torture. Yeah, um, he's like inhuman. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like his what the guides would say, and I'll just keep it very light. Believe me, because I've already We're grabbed. A I've only. already grabbed a crystal over here because I'm like trying to like, you know, I don't need no more trouble with with these people. Uh, but <clears throat> he was interrupted. It's almost like. Um, there were some kids that were recruited into these kinds of CIA or government agencies that don't have names, um, which is very true. Um, I feel like his childhood was interrupted. Something, something, something happened to this guy as a child. Okay. 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 And I feel like it was military or bad government like sound and bad, bad. That doesn't mean, um, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Well, we should change the subject. Yeah. Let's, uh, take a breath and everybody call in the good, the good guides and the angels and get, you got to disconnect from all this stuff because if you watch this and then you're going to bed, you might be having bad dreams or something. So we want to, you know, just we're we're just seeing all the stuff, you know, because it, you know, all the crap has to come out. But we're really it's really an exciting and a great time to be here uh, and that all this is being changed and cleaned up and that we're we can talk about it and we can, you know, no, you know, uh, yeah, there you go with the sage. So <laughs> yeah, I did my sage before. I, I never my, do this. I never do this on live. Earth. Never. I've never done this live in ever. This is my friend. I'm telling you, that's how freaked out that subject gets me. So I'm yeah. just, well, clearing the air, clearing the air, doing a little yeah. spring cleaning over here, but yeah. you guys should do the same thing because you're connected to us. So if you got yeah. sage, burn it. If you have crystals, say prayers, release. I think Sybil's 100% right. Release this energy. There's no reason for us to keep this energy around. Yeah. And it's it's not, you know, it's it's not that I hear some people say, oh, never watch the news. Hide in the... You have to know what's going on. Um, huh. Well, there's energy moving around here. So you have to know, I mean, it's a good idea to know um, what the truth is and what's going on and face things head on and look at them and know the truth. And that's how we move through it. If we're just going, oh, peace, love and light, hide in the closet, walk in the woods. Well, I don't want to know all that. <laughs> you know, because I mean, some people do and that's fine. And they're helping in another way by raising the vibration of the planet, which is what I do in some other videos. I I talk about Archangel Michael, or I talk about, you know, those kinds of spiritual issues to kind of, to lift up the energy of the planet. And it's all very important. Like I was talking about, we need the Baptist to pray for us and the, you know, the Catholics or what, whoever, you know, or I'm saging America. you guys. Oh, me? Oh, them. Yeah. I'm they saging everybody. Yeah, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. Okay. Now we did it. We, we talked about it. We've released it. Um, we're good now. Um, yeah, Not know the truth, right but don't hang on to it. Okay, so should we do some word uh, hour and something? Somebody had one question about um, is 
is Santos reveal release definite in the is your question, Steve? Will Santos? Do y'all see this sage is really going crazy, y'all? Holy my God. You needed that. Yeah. Sheesh. Um, will Santos reveal Elise Stefanik's and the Russian oligarch linked to the state of New York and a GOP crime? I don't think so. I don't. I mean, Santos is not a trusted witness, so I'm not sure they're going to. I'm not sure they can put him on the witness stand and really trust what he gets. Okay. I don't think he would oh. be a good witness on the witness. Team. Oh, Angela, this is the question I wanted to ask. We can make this the last one or whatever you want to do, dear. Angela M says, have MTG and Jim Jordan received target letters? I who do you think, who do you feel like is going to be the people that might get investigated first? What's the first people that come to your mind? I feel like Jim Jordan, Loudermilk. I think Josh Hawley's kind of moved away from this. Wait, he's going to move away from it? No, he's just like, he's not, he's not putting his, fighting as much. Did he give evidence? He might have. Wow. He's really slick. That guy, Josh Hawley is slick. Okay, keep going. I feel like he's going to eventually go down. And you think Jim Jordan is going to go down too? Yeah, Jim Jordan, Loudermilk. Bogert. Uh, there, there was somebody uh, from Wisconsin or somebody. Um, he won. Um, it was it Wisconsin? Uh, up where it's cold somewhere. Where's that? Um, yeah, I don't know his name. Holly's been mighty quiet. Yeah. Um, Ron Johnson. Is it, is yeah. It, is it Ron Johnson? Yeah, Ron Johnson did some stuff. Is it, a lot of these people are going to be found out too to be taking dark money, and there's, there's, like you said, compromise on them. There's some. There's some. Yeah. Um, I know. I thought it was going to blow up in a ball of smoke. And what about Matt? Tupperville. Gale? Oh, Tuber, Tupperville. Oh, Tupperville. Yes. Is Tupperville in on this? Yes, I just heard yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of them. It's uh, it's that's why they're fighting so hard. That's right. For um, you crack me up. Huh? I still think Gates is not going to get away. I I know he thinks he can get away. He's got his dad, he's got whatever, whatever. I don't I don't see him getting away with this. I think uh it's coming for him. I see justice coming for Gates. Yeah. Yeah, um, he's going to go down big when he does. Yeah. Yeah. And and so I feel like there's just going to be so many uh, reveals, revelations, surprises, shots. Yeah, and stuff that you thought, like, that it's going to happen quick, and it's going to, like, that happened. So just, um, like everybody's saying, put your safety belt on. Breathe. Yeah, I go around. I think I think you know, Sybil's right, and I know you guys love your politics, but you do have to mix in a little bit of spiritual because this stuff will just make you depressed. It'll make you bleak and sad and sick. So remember to ground yourself. Remember to take really good care of yourself. Uh, well, here's one: Will Trump become a ghost? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh uh, well. But so some people who don't want to face, um, they yep. don't want to go up yep. and, and review their life. So they just, there's one, Sylvia Brown did said that, where they just go through the left <laughs> door and they just come right back in. So they don't have to look at. Um, what you mean, done. what do you mean? You mean they, they reincarnate really quickly? So when we cross... One hopes that we don't stay earthbound. We cross over, we review our lives, we look at where we're going to go next, what we learned and what we did. And it's not, we don't, there isn't a judgment. It's like we, maybe we judge ourselves, but we look at, you know, our higher self is looking at what, what are we doing next with him? He's not going up there and doing all that. He knows that that's not going to be good. So he may just flip and come back in if he can, because of his illnesses and his, 
You know, he might have to stay resting for a while. Let me see. Is he going to come back in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Round uh, 47 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Um, oh, heck. So... Um, hopefully people will be farther enough along so they won't have to go through what, I mean, I saw him as some kind of, um, oh, I saw him as, um, Caligula. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I saw him and I saw him as some kind of German, um, before World War II, it was something before then, some kind of military outfit that looked, I don't know if it was German. I'm not against I'm German, so I'm not against Germany. I just saw him as some kind of um, fascist uh, government, military, uh, not government, but military official. I've seen him as a an executor. And I feel like he wants to come in and try to do it again. Yeah. But hopefully we'll be farther enough along. So, he, uh, you know, so we... You know, so he's not allowed to come into. I and mean, a lot of this is about, to me, it is about celebrities and, you know, the celebrity apprentice and being, you know, social media and all this that we have and misinformation. So uh, hopefully we'll be in a better position. We will, because in some weird way we can thank him because look at all, uh, even it's like, um, a near death experience or something, or it's like a, uh, for some reason, you know, well, all the, the crap is coming out because of him. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. And so we're, we're going to make a lot of changes. So this doesn't, Oh, mango Mussolini. I don't think he was Mussolini. Some people think he was, but I think he was somebody maybe like that, but I don't think he was Mussolini. There, there almost is kind of a resemblance, but um, and it would make sense that he could come in very quickly. I don't know when Mussolini died, so you know, that's negative. We need to like burn the sage again. I'm gonna spray my my frankincense and myrrh sandalwood. I I do want to say this because this is something that you guys really need to hear. Okay, um, we really are better off now than we were. I mean, think about the guides had a whole talk down to me the other day, uh, starting with like, well, when colonists arrived on the, in, on the shores of what's now the United States of America, look at how horrible everything has been since then in this country. And now we finally elected our first black president. We're, we've come so far. I know that it feels like you know, we're just doing terrible. But if you look at the history, even look at the Holocaust, look at World War II, World War I, look at you guys, we are so much better as human beings now. As bad as we are, we're so much better than we were 100 years ago. So by the time Trump comes back, the hope is that we will have learned these lessons that he's so graciously given us, you know? Absolutely. Check out Kevin, the healing medium where yeah. when he comes back, we will have learned more of these lessons. We will maybe not all of them, but we'll be better people by the time he comes back. Maybe we'll won't elect him as president. Maybe he'll get elected as a mayor and, and, you know, and that'll be as far as the energy he gets, you know? Uh, so I had this dream and things are going to get better in the next, you know, couple, by the time the Democrats get in, things are going to get better and things will continue to get better on earth. And you're right. Things have gotten better. I had this dream a long time ago that there was this, I was, well, in real life, I was married to this guy and I did this investing with this, his friend who had a motorcycle shop. I invested in the shop. He, my husband at the time talked me into it and I got screwed out of the money and I knew that I shouldn't do it, but I, he, I, you know, anyway, it's a long t time ago and a long, you know, so I just, whenever I saw that guy around town, I was like, I don't even want to talk to him. I have nothing to say to him. Good. And I really didn't like him. 
And I had this dream that I was in this place and it was earth and it was about 800 years from now. And there was less people on the planet and wow. we lived in harmony with the earth. There wasn't any money. Everybody contributed. And the people who were here were really ethical and really, um, yeah. there was like these community centers. Some people lived up in the hills. Some people lived in the flat areas, but homes were built into the earth ecologically. Right. And um, everybody contributed. And I was in this community center. It was round. And there was this big portrait a painting up on the wall of that guy from the motorcycle shop that ripped me off. And I said to this lady, I'm like, what is he doing up there? <laughs> and she goes, him, him, he is our leader that brought us to this, you know, place oh on earth God. that we are. And I realized through different lifetimes, he had evolved and changed. And I'm not saying that's yeah. going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I think Trump will be less harmful next time. But I saw that he had evolved and changed. And it made it taught me a lesson about how to forgive people or how to think about people because we're all just, you know, we make mistakes and we're here learning in earth school. And I also had a lot of hope for the earth that it's someday it's going to be a place that's really in balance. And so we're on our way. Things are going to get better. It's just, we're living through like the, one of the most crazy times here on earth, the energy. And so, but, you know, do your spiritual work, do your healing, would do your, um, uh, uh, your work because you're, we're awakening and that is the energy we are waking up from all the lies and deception and all the corruption and all the prejudice and the hate and the toxins and the fear. And that's why they don't want you awake. They that's call right. it book. They don't want you to know what's going on. They want you to just listen to this news or whatever, and they spin it. And all that is going to go away. We are waking up, and people are sick and tired of it. They're done. So take really good care of yourself and know that we're going to a good place and that you were here in this really important time in history, even though sometimes it feels like, well, so I'm going to go take a bath, a salt bath, and put some pretty smelling oils in there and clean my energy field and think about it's a good, you know, tomorrow's going to be a good day. There's going to be puppies, kids, birthdays, you know, weddings, celebrations, you know, it's, there's a lot of good things happening here on earth too. So we need to remember that and that we are going in a good direction. Yeah, it's really true. You've got to balance it guys. You've got to, you got to balance your, your intake of energy. Yeah. And you can do a shower. You can do a cleansing shower and just imagine that the uh, water every, is yeah. cleansing yeah. you. Imagine that it's what, just use your imagination or just know this is cleaning my energy. Yeah. Use your crystals. I go for a walk every day. It's beautiful. It's yeah. That's how I get grounded and I meditate. <laughs> Yeah. So whatever but, works, you guys, it might be a punching bag. I don't know. <laughs> whatever works for you. You know what I mean? Whatever works, works. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe to Sybil's channel. You're over here. At, at, you're, you're at the parties at her house. Uh, she's provided a really nice party for us tonight. Thank you, Sybil. My honor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my channel. And, uh, I have your information up there. Is is that what you is that <laughs> the name of your channel? I was just I was just answering Cindy Rock and an Orange. Yeah, <laughs> I was being very enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take good care, everybody. Care, Much love. Everybody. Bye, bye, you guys.